Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The market keeps dropping. We have a foot uh, party bag, SBC in the code, a new one. We have got rewards today. There is a ton to talk about, more SBC hints, more quote unquote leaks as well for these SBCs that could be upcoming. And this Royce SBC that is changing the market as we see it at the moment. So there's a ton to talk about today, but the main point is, is that this market continues to drop as this whole entire foot birthday promo is based around SBCs, the player SBCs we're getting daily, as well as potentially now a foot birthday party bag SBC, which has just been released into the code. I'm going to talk about this, show you the SBC and why I think it actually could be coming out today. I think if they're dropping this party bag in the code, they could be dropping this today. Now, this is legit code. This is not an April Fool's, all right? This is from Footwatch on Twitter, not an April Fool's, but it could be, I suppose, an April Fool's from EA. So just keep that in mind. I personally think that we could see this today. This seems like a perfect Thursday SBC that they would release in FIFA the day before another promo, maybe to sink some coins and to sink some fodder out of people's clubs before, hey, maybe trying to get them to open some packs for Team 2 of the Foot Birthday promo, which will come on Friday. But the Foot Birthday Party Bag contains Rule Breakers, Road to the Finals, Record Breakers, Team of the Group Stage, Foot Freeze, Headliners, Future Stars, What If, or or and foot birthday players. So it's basically the exact same party bag as last time. They just added in foot birthday players. No ones to watches are involved here. And I think it's the exact same. All those promo teams that I'm seeing should be included. They were included in the one before. We also had a gold 83 to 89 rated rare player pack. So that's a one, uh, one player in a pack that is 83 to 89 rated. So that would be potentially an SBC we could see tomorrow, but also something they might save until later on. Kind of how, how we had the 86 plus double and the 83 plus time or the 83 times 10 released last week that came out on Thursday. I think unless they're going to 83 to 89 today to try to get some more fodder in people's clubs, that might be an SBC that they do not actually put out. We will see. But in my personal opinion, I think it could be the party bag coming today. Now, also, EA could be delaying this until the weekend and just adding it into the code now since it is April Fool's. But uh, I really think it makes sense that this party bag could come today. Now, SBC fodder before this happening, it's already started to explode up. I actually just went out and did a little bit of a club stock myself because fodder was getting very, very low. And this is what people were doing on Wednesday night heading into rewards. People were selling their fodder investments. We've been seeing it all week. The fodder prices have been dropping, right? Take a look at this Jordan Henderson card who is up at like 32, 33,000 coins. He's literally been falling all week. Tonight, these guys got into the 27,000 coin range for the 86s. They got pretty, pretty cheap. Now, they're still kind of there, but it's obviously starting to rebound back up as people are investing for these SBCs. Now, people were waiting until Rivals Rewards and Foot Champions Rewards when more pack supply would come onto the market uh, to go and invest. But I think these prices that we saw right here were very low. Now, I do think the market will dip again at Foot Champs Rewards because people probably aren't saving too many packs for Team 2. They're just going to open with a full team of packs right now. Uh, and I don't think you'll see too many save packs. So I think you will see fodder per usual, get a bit supply to rewards, drop down a little bit, but then rise up into the day, into Thursday today with that party bag SBC on the horizon. And of course, um, in a lot of people's minds, Inform's probably going to rise up as well. You know, you're probably going to see 84s moving up a very high amount because, you know, for a party bag SBC, somewhere around like 100,000 coins so maybe an 84 rated squad with a team of the week or two team of the weeks it seems to be right around the area where ea could price this maybe they'll make it a little bit more expensive since foot birthday pl players are included i hope they don't um but we know right these are the the scam bag sbcs as we call them but everybody goes bananas for these packs right even though they're not good value if you look in here you're gonna probably pack like zakaria road to the final i see that guy that guy, that guy pop up so many times from these SBCs, but everybody's still going to do it, right? Because you have the potential to get a foot birthday player, right? Now, let's talk about these cards. As everybody is buying up fodder and preparing for that SBC, what's happening to the rest of the market is people are panic selling these cards right before rewards. And of course, with that SBC coming out. Now, again, right now, people have been, you know, selling these cards all week, not just these, right? 
players across the game out of pack special cards have been getting destroyed this week they've been going down every single day there's panic selling every day into 6 p.m content with that new foot birthday sbc coming out and these prices continue just to drop lower and lower Saka's 1.52 right Anthony, 328,000 coins. This guy used to be 500,000 coins like a week and a half ago. Uh, so you're seeing some cards that have bounced up too because of the SBC links like Newhouse and Bastoni linking to Royce, Podolski, and uh, Ozil for Newhouse, and then Bastoni linking to uh, the main man Vidal. But you're seeing a lot of this stuff continue to go down, continue to crash in price as everybody is focused on SBCs and these player SBCs they keep putting out that are good value, right? Specifically for these foot birthday cards. Again, I talked about it yesterday. I think these cards are going to get supplied tonight, then have the potential to rise back up a little bit into the day on Thursday. But if a party bag were to be released again on Thursday or released on Thursday at 6 p.m. today, I do think you would see these guys maybe dip back down again with the marquee matchup supply. So these guys are down a decent amount. I mean, look at Tiago, 475. Um, this guy was literally 500,000 coins almost all day on Wednesday. He was 525, went down to 500, back up to 511, and has now been dropping after the content dropped because people knew rewards is coming, supply is coming. So some of these cards are going to get packed tonight. They're going to bounce back up like Sané, Anaki Williams, probably Tiago, Mendy, and Vardy would be the ones, if I had to guess, that could make a nice little bit of a rise. Maybe some of the lower tier ones like Sambia and Hermoso, uh, because those are really good value cards for the price. Um, I might see those bounce back up a little bit, but with marquee matchups coming out and uh, a potential party bag SBC uh, coming today as well, I would expect these cards to probably go a little bit lower in the second half of the day on Thursday as well. So just kind of keeping that in mind. And let's just talk about this for a second. Will the market bounce back? Is there going to be enough demand today for people to buy teams uh, and stuff like that to see this market bounce back? By the way, new team of the week, decent value, to be honest with you. I mean, no dynamic images, but Usman Dembele, Kimmich, Aubameyang, over 400,000 coins each. A decent, okay team of the week. Actually, to be honest, there's a lot of walkouts, a lot of higher rated informs. So that's nice for, you know, if these do get supplied on the market for some fodder. I mean, I think there's 11 players in here that are walkouts, so... That's okay, at least you have a decent amount of 83, you have 84, 85, 84, 82, 84, 85, some, some like, um, I guess you could say SBC fodder almost informs, Kudus is probably about fodder range, Aurier's fodder is an 83 rated card, so that's decent for the team of the week today, not the best for red picks, Kimmich is uh, probably the number one guy from red picks, or Dembele, but Davies is not bad, so not the worst team of the week ever, um, but I do think you will see some of the market rebound back today because everybody has been in such a mode with these player picks. And I think people are going to kind of have to snap out of it per se and maybe buy some cards for their weekend league teams. Now, some cards that I'm really keeping an eye on because I think we saw a really big rise on some of the links to that SBC Vidal that was released um, earlier this week. And I think you're going to start to see, you already saw the rise in some of these German cards, but I think some of the German cards are going to continue to keep rising up because these cards right here have got a lot of hype. And this Royce SBC is gaining a lot of traction. Now I did the SBC myself and he is very, very, very good. And I think a lot of people are going to end up doing this SBC too. Cause if you've done Podolski, if you've done, um, or Ozil, or both of those players, which I have done, it, it makes for some nice links in the squad. You can you can see right here, you know, you buy a couple of Bundesliga players with some German links, and boom, you have yourself a nice little combination. So I think that you're going to see a lot of these Bundesliga type cards, maybe the center backs in particular. That's why I'm keeping a close eye on Klosterman, keeping a close eye on like Delaney, or maybe this Freeze Goosens, right, with the Serie A links kind of combining i wish i had coins to bid on that but i just went in on some fodder to stock the club so now i'm broke uh but i do think some of these german and bundesliga cards that have not risen up too much yet have potential to go a little bit higher today because everybody's going to be focused on those types of links today um for building out their teams for the weekend league and also you know some of these links that have risen a lot um 
because of the Vidal SBC, because Vidal has been very, very popular as well. This Paratich is down at about uh, 390,000 coins. He was up at about 450, 460k at his absolute peak. You know, you have like Freeze, Lautaro Martinez, that Bastoni card that we looked at. If I'm going to be doing any Thursday flips today or expecting any cards to rise post rewards, it would be these sorts of cards. And it probably would be a pretty short rise. It probably would be until 6 p.m. UK. Then when that party bag does come out, this is what I want you guys to focus on. If the party bag does come out today, there's going to be plenty of market movements. Now, right now, I've got my coins tied up. So I'm going to get my coins liquid and maybe try to get some, some profits and flips after rewards. One thing you're really going to want to keep an eye on are those cards that are inflated right now uh, due to the links of Royce, of the German uh, SBCs that are being very popular right now, and Vidal. Because if players like this new house, let's say this guy goes to 200,000 coins uh, today after rewards, right before 6 p.m., he's 200K, you take your cash, you buy right now 180, boom, there's a nice little bit of 10K per card. That's a nice little bit of profit on a new house card. I think 200K is very possible for this. Although it is a little bit invested in, I think it's very possible. Look how rare he is at 200K, right? So, I mean, you might see a card like that go up today, but if there is a party bag SBC, you will see people panic sell cards like this that are, are needed and that are hyped up and that are used um in linking teams together with the brand new SBC players people will panic sell some of these cards to go do that SBC and you will see these prices fluctuate Kimmich 183 he's been over 200,000 coins uh for a nice while look he's that's a nice undercut right there at 183 even so keep an eye specifically on some of those German and those Syria links that have gone up a lot because of Vidal and because of um because of Ozil Podolski and um Royce. Now, the one thing I will say is today's foot 15 SBC is supposed to be Gervinho, which Gervinho is in the Serie A. So maybe even some more rise on the market for some Serie A links if the Gervinho card today is really cracked and if it's really cheap. Now, I do want to speak about this a little bit more because we had the new hint released today, right? Foot 17 center mid. And this is another thing to talk about in that uh, the Renato Sanchez leaks that were talked about for this coming foot 17 SBC are again looking to be pretty accurate. So far in the past three days, the leaks have been true with these foot birthday themed SBCs and we have more leaks coming out about the promo team that could be released on Friday as well. Uh, you know, guys like Sterling, Awar, um, I think Modric, Adama Traore, and um, I think there's one more that I'm missing. Ryan Kent are supposedly the second team. Now, as we have not missed a day yet for these foot birthday themed SBCs, just a kind of quick note on this, and I'll talk a little bit more about it tomorrow too, is the fact that the second week of foot birthday, since this was a full one week, team one's always one full week, right? Team two, if it's going to be only a partial team in packs, in my opinion, it makes sense now why there's 12 foot birthday player themed SBCs for a two week promo. They're going to end that second week early. They're going to end it probably on Wednesday so they can release an SBC every single day. And then we might be looking at a new promo next Friday. So not, not this upcoming Friday, not tomorrow, but next Friday, we might be looking at a new promo or maybe just a quiet Friday after foot birthday. But that's kind of wanted to talk about a little bit again today was the potential for that schedule and that time frame. And I had an objective pack here, which is going to supply my club with some non rares, which will make for more 81 plus player picks. Now today at rewards as well, they're going to have, of course, some more supply on those rare and non rare cards from people opening their foot champions rewards and division rivals rewards. So uh, as you're looking to do maybe some player picks today or craft some SBCs, continue crafting Royce or Vidal, Lars Bender, I'm going to get this done for my team myself. So, you know, watch on the, if those rare golds drop at all today, that could be a great time to get in and do some 81 plus player picks specifically because if that foot birthday party bag SBC does come out today on Thursday, then I do think you will see uh, an, an opportunity to grind those 81 plus player picks like everybody else is doing on this game right now um, to see that 80 or that party bag will be a little bit easier if you can craft it in that sort of manner. But again, this is why the market's gone down. I, I've been stressing this all week. It's this 81 plus player pick. Every single you know, YouTuber, streamer, content creator, person on Twitter that I see talking about like what is going on with the market right now, everybody is just talking about how 
um, these player picks are making crafting SBCs so much easier and everybody is buying players to go and do those player pick packs. So that's why you're seeing the market drop down so much as people are submitting all their coins, they're buying cards, I did 70,000 coins worth of those 81 plus player picks today, and that literally crafted me. Uh, I got two 89 rated cards, an 88 rated card. I packed uh, Foot Birthday Huan He Chan from literally nine picks, right? I got two 89s and 88. Uh, I think another 86, couple 85s. It was ridiculous luck, to be honest. But that's why I was able to get Royce done from my club today and still have some players left over, was because. Uh, those picks are so cracked. And again, it's no secret. Everybody's doing those. But again, that's just why the market is going down so much. But if you focus, if there is panic selling, focus on those meta cards and those cards that people are using to link players together. That was a great deal for Goosens right there. Um, the Dortmund links, the German links, and the Serie A links. I think that is a huge place to look. If there is panic selling today, those cards will be the first to rebound into Friday as people play division rivals uh, to get their you know packs and stuff for full birthday and also foot champs um, this weekend and you know getting their teams ready for that competition. So crazy stuff going on in the market right now. I'm going to get my coins, sell that Zidane, sell that Rivaldo, sell the cards that I have specifically before content tomorrow. Hopefully the market rises up a little bit, which I do think that it will on some levels. Uh, but I also think you're going to see fodder rise up a lot too. People are going to get prepared for that party bag SBC. So those are all my thoughts. If you have any of yours, drop them down below in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the foot account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.